I'm Don Mock. I shoe around the Denton, Texas area. I'm originally from Ohio, started shoeing in 72, the day I graduated from high school. I apprenticed with uh, Carl Bell. I wanted to just learn to do my own, and I liked it so much that I spent time with a bunch of other farriers, mostly standard bred farriers. And I had a big business in Ohio, despised the cold weather. So in 79, I moved to Texas. And now I'm uh, 67, got a new knee put in, and I'm on the downhill slide. I'm, and uh, now I'm just working primarily at one big jumping horse account in Argyle. My wife and I, our best friends, uh, have boys in high school, and they're in the ag department, and they needed a project for their ag mechanic uh, competition and they needed a project so I said well build me a trailer so I designed it and they did it themselves and they went took it and competed at all of the fairs around Texas and they won the Texas State Fair in Dallas with this trailer so I, I can get into it with my specialty shoes I keep in the back part that I don't have to get to very often and then I have a, a door that, under this door that's a whole kitchen. So we eat on the job. And we, we usually take just 15, 20 minutes to eat instead of driving to a restaurant, eating for 45 minutes and getting back. It just saves a lot of time and money and helps me get home in time a little earlier to spend time with my boys. And I had the boys uh, make what I call a gutter piece of aluminum. So when it's raining, uh, I have a cable that will hook on here and it will hold the door down so the rain will come off. And I don't need to pull into barns. I didn't have split doors, but I have big doors, so I have shade. Um, and here I just have two drill presses, a, uh, a vise, lots of hooks. Uh, the boys that built the trailer built the shell. We designed it, and Brent from Bay Horse, he made all our, uh, our drawers and cabinets. So I have a uh, swing out arm that the boys made, Scott Anvil, pull out reels, Vader grinder, everything is uh, locked on so they won't come unhooked. One thing I really enjoy is the flame coming out of the forge and people walking by, they're going to get hurt. So I designed a exhaust for it and you can just undo two bolts and take it off if you need to but it gets the flame going off the top and you can walk right by it. And it's, it's made to where things are separated to where my apprentice and I, we're not running in each other all day and one of us is doing something at all times. I have a unique device. It's called a roll lock disc. And you can buy it in most hardware stores. But it's a disc with a big thread on it. And to change it, you just lock them down. So it's real easy to change the disc. And we use a lot of these. And we have the holders for all the drills for standing. Shoes, chargers, we have pad rack. And this drawer is only polymers or, or tubes of rubber. This one is all Equilox. This is my little office, nails. And I have this drawer high enough that all the tall sprayers will fit down in here. We're all different. We do different types of horses. And I want something that was very efficient, easy to set up, easy to break down, and two people can work around it. So I want to keep it simple. And I, I think everybody has different ways of shoeing horses that you need a rig that works for you, that you designed.